up against other entrepreneurs, black businesses fall behind. In 2017, black-owned businesses are opting for a digital strategy to boost sales. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is getting answers tonight on a digital app and why these businesses need this type of help. She's live in the newsroom with more. Macy? Well, Tony and Christina, it's called the official Black Wall Street app. And if you're out and about, it'll alert you when you're near a black-owned business. It just launched just in time for holiday shopping. This holiday season, economists expect shoppers to spend nearly $1,000 each. It, that's just the way it is. We're, we're, we're trained. Black Friday means save, save, save. So that's what we're, we think we're doing. And black-owned businesses are hoping to reel in some of that money. So I think everyone should jump on board. It's my hair salon owner, Maisha Helton, just downloaded a new mobile app called Official Black Wall Street. I immediately signed up. Here, she can list her business's location and description, making it much easier for shoppers to find. We like to stay visible on those social networks, and we get people in. Plus, the best advertisement is word of mouth. Aziza Davis Goins is the president of the Sacramento Black Chamber of Commerce. The chamber has been trying to do that in our own local area for the last two years, and it's almost as bad as pulling teeth. Why? She says many small local businesses don't understand the value of reaching out to shoppers on a digital platform. And so they tend to not be in business very long. You really do have to make investment in that business in order to make money. Entrepreneur Mandy Bowman designed the app with struggling businesses in mind. Stacked up against other entrepreneurs, black businesses fall behind. Financial advisor Brooke Stevens took a look at the amount of time money circulates in minority communities. 28 days in the Asian community, 19 days in the Jewish community, but in the black community, those dollars are gone in just six hours. Um, so it's just a matter of presenting them those facts and just saying, you know, this is something that um, that is necessary for our community just to level the playing field. I showed it to shopper Stacy Nicholas, and she says it would come in handy while out and about. You don't know all the black businesses that are in our community at all, so by just having an app to see who's out there, what they're selling, I think that's amazing. Now, shoppers can find a range of businesses on the app from restaurants to dental offices. Businesses can sign up for free but have the option of choosing from different subscription levels. And Bowman says as more businesses register, shoppers will have more options and the app will become an even better resource. Yeah, creative concept. Mm -hmm. All right, Macy, thanks.